Hi, my name is Liesl Vessels. I'm a portrait artist from Bluefontaine, South Africa. Addicted to Art Store asked that I create a few um, tutorials in pencil drawing. Today I'm just going to show you five ways how to blend or soften your pencil drawing. Now the first option, which is the most well-known option, is um, standard paper stamps. You can get these in different shapes um, and sizes. I specifically like the smaller ones, as you can get into very finer kind of areas or details. The second option is um, soft tools. These are actually used for um, with pan pastel, um, but I quite like them with my pencil drawing. Um, and what nice, what is nice about these is that um, when the sleeves get very dirty, you can actually just replace them. So you can see they are quite potent um, to soften your pencil drawings. Now the third option. Um, it's quite nice, it's, um, it's actually quite cheap. <laughs> it's your normal Q-tips or cotton wool um, and they are actually quite potent. Um, the only thing that's bad about them is that they get um, very dirty and um, quickly and you, um, yeah, so it's the only thing about them that I don't like. But as you can see they blend quite nicely. Now the Fourth option is just a normal um, soft brush. These are kind of like when I want to blend an area but I don't necessarily want to lose the quality of a drawing underneath. So for example here where I already made like little lines, you just want to soften certain parts. This is actually quite a nice tool. And then last but not least is your normal putty rubber. Now putty rubber is great if you want to make certain areas a little bit lighter or if you have a very harsh line you can make it a little bit softer so yeah and that's why I use my putty rubber actually as a drawing tool and not just to erase certain areas okay but let's talk and more drawing